Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It is time to put together a new Sylvanian family's Calico Critter set. And this one is the Country Doctor. And it is full of awesome little bits and pieces that we can set up so we can play Doctor. It's really, really cool. We can also set up the dentist and the country nurse set in this same building. So I'll open them in another video. I promise I'll do it very, very soon. But let's get the Doctor open and set up. So here we have the surgery. This is obviously used on different days of the week for different people. So for the nurse or for the dentist or for the doctor. And at the moment we are setting it up for the doctor because after all, this is just a country town. And we're gonna have a look at all the pieces that are in here that we're going to need to set up the doctor's surgery. So we got lots of little things. We'll look at them in a moment and we'll do the big things first, I think. Okay, uh, let me see. Let's start. Of course, we're going to need a table. I can see a table in here and some other... Oh, I can tell where they are. Alright, so we have a, a, a table. We're going to need a table for putting stuff on. So we'll find out what we have to put on it in a minute. This one is one of those measuring sticks. It's pretty cute. It goes up and down. You can find out how much you've grown since your last visit to the doctor. And a scale, which will also tell you how much you've grown, but in a different way. And the doctor is going to need a swivelly chair and it's pink. <laughs> it's a pink swivelly chair. All these accessories are pale pink. I hope the doctor likes that colour. A pink swivelly chair for the doctor to sit on and look very important on. There, I like that chair. Round and round and round it goes. Let's tuck it in at the table. I think that that's where it belongs. There we go. And we'll see what we have next. What do we got? Something flat. Ah yes, so it is the examination bed and a little stool for the patient to sit on when they're talking to the doctor. So they will be very handy. The bed looks not very comfortable, looks quite hard, but I suppose they're not supposed to stay there for long. The doctor doesn't really want them to stay. They're there to be examined. That's all not for a nice sleep. But well, that would be nice too. <laughs> and this one's got some curvy pink pieces. What are these? Ah, all right. So this one might be, I think these are for the reception area. I think that might be a waiting bench and the reception bench as well. So that's cool. They're all the big pieces of furniture. Let's have, oh, what's in here? Some squishy bits. And it looks like it might be, they're all white. What have we got? We've got some bandage, some nice, uh, nice, well, it's all unrolled. <laughs> Do you think I might have to roll that up for storage? Cause that's not very sanitary at all to have a big piece of unrolled bandage and a cast for a broken foot. Oh, poor little critters. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun with this. And a doctor's coat. Now this is cute. And it's got Velcro to hold it together and armholes and I am going to get a doctor to pop in this. Now this set does not come with any figures. So I have dressed up a daddy rabbit here. He looks perfect to be a doctor. Like I said, he does not come with the set. So just so you know, this set doesn't come with any figures. But we've got, we need one so we can show off what this will look like when the doctor is in residence, when he's ready to see patients. So let's dress him up ready to see his patients when we've got his whole surgery set up. So he looks pretty dashing in his white coat. It fits nicely. I like his little blue and white bow tie, which I chose for him to wear for this, this particular, <laughs> this particular scenario in which he is playing. And because he's here, we might as well wrap up his ear and check out how the bandage works. That actually sticks to itself quite nicely. There you are, doctor. Did you know you have a sore ear? You don't really have a sore ear, but maybe it is because it's all bent. Oh, I think you'll be all right after we've finished taking the bandage off soon. So we, oh, you've got a bit of blue thread. There we go. Now you sit on the chair and we'll open all the other bits and pieces. Okay, the little pieces. Oh my goodness, you're going to love these. Let's sniff it open and get them all out. These are fantastic. There's a lot of teeny tiny in here. Move over everything and we might put the tables up so that we can put everything on it. A stethoscope! A little teeny tiny stethoscope! And that goes on the doctor. There we go, now he looks the business. He looks perfect, ready to be a doctor. Problem is, if you put it up on his ears, but I don't think that was well thought through, having a rabbit for a doctor, because his ears are all the way up there. Hmm, we might need to uh, have a bit of 
<laughs> have a bit of a thought about that. Uh, there's a crutch for, for whichever poor little critters have got a broken leg or ankle or foot. And some sort of pink tray. We'll find out what goes in that soon, I think. Ah, I think this might be what goes in it. They're little tablets, little pop foil containers with tablets in them, sheets of tablets. And these are cool. Let's get in really close. Look at that. They look just like a real set of tablets. There's six in each and we might pop them in here and that way the doctor will be able to find them when he needs to prescribe them. So we've got two of the capsules, the orange and yellow capsules. We'll pop them over here. I really like them. They look, they look just like the real thing. And some little white tablets as well. Two sets of little white tablets, six in each set. And the doctor can prescribe these for whatever he sees fit. We can change it depending upon what we're playing. That's really, really cool. There. There's our second set of tablets. Excellent. So we've got some medicine. I think the doctor's ready. He's got a bandage. He's got medicine. What else does he need? Uh, well, he does need small things. So let's see. He needs a kidney-shaped pan. Uh, that's for putting all of the used bits in. And some sort of white box with a slot in it. I think we'll find out what that's for in a minute. And a clipboard, right? It's a clipboard for writing things on and it comes with a pencil and we cannot, <laughs> why? No, you can't write directly onto the clipboard. There will be a little sheet of paper somewhere that we need to put on that. So we'll find that in a minute. There are some medicines, some clear medicines. There's the one with the blue lid and there's one with a pink lid and you can see the medicine the amount marker up the side, the measurement marker, and one with a yellow lid. So three different medicines. And here is his container for holding all of his special doctoring utensils. And I don't know what this is. I'm sure we'll find that out in a minute as well. Doesn't look like anything very doctory, but here's a pair of tweezers. You must have a pair of tweezers if you are a doctor. So let's see, let's try them out on the doctor. Oh, 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 we'll get the prickles out of his foot. I think they work really well for a pair of bendy plastic tweezers. <laughs> we'll put these in there. And he has got a thermometer as well. It's a nice old fashioned thermometer. You check your temperature. How is it? It looks good. Yep, give it a shake down. Yep, your temperature's good, doctor. You are well. And you also have got a needle here, a syringe for whatever you might need that for, for immunizations or for injections whatever you need to help make your patients better. We'll pop that in the kidney shaped pan because we've used it. And we also have got this big green thing. Can you guess what it's for? Yes, of course, it's for a sign. So we might have a look for where the sign piece is. So here is our enormous sheet of stickers and you can see the country clinic here. And it's not just for the doctor, it's for all of those other medical services. I wonder what days the doctor's in. So now we've got our country clinic sign and it goes, follow me up here, it goes on the top. There, all done. The doctor's clinic is ready. And now we've got lots of other stickers to put on. So let's put some on. These ones have got some little tiny feet on them. And they don't go on the scale, they go on your measuring stick because that's where you need to put your feet right near the back so that we can measure your height accurately. No standing on your tippy toes. We need to see the proper height. Flat feet, right the heels right back up against the stick. <laughs> now this bit goes for the scales, I think. We'll put it on here and it's got the little feet imprints as well so you know where to stand. And we also need the scale part. The measuring part. There. That looks great. Come out here, Dr. Rabbit. Let's find out how you're going. Well, actually, we might just check that all this equipment works. So if you could stand on the scales, please. Yes, 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 looking good. And could you please put your feet, yep, right back at the back there. Do we measure to the top of your ears or do we measure to the top of your head? It's a bit of a, a bit of a conundrum, really. I don't know where you're supposed to measure animals to. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Maybe you can tell me in the comments whether you think we should measure him to the top of his ears or the top of his head. <laughs> and while you're thinking about that, I will put some stickers on these medicine bottles. Now, here we go. Here's the yellow one. And it says medicine. That's not very confusing at all. And here's the pink one. And it's got a pink sticker. Do you know what? I think the stickers are supposed to go on the side next to the measurements. I think I've put it on the wrong spot on the yellow ones. 
yeah, I think, oh, hold on, the slippery. I think, let me see. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna come off at all. Right, the yellow one gets to be different. It's going to be an individual, which is A-OK. -okay. Uh, and, and the pink and the blue, they're going to conform and they're going to have their stickers on the sides. And the yellow is gonna be special and fabulous. There we are, three bottles of medicine. And we get a sticker for this, so we now can find out what it's for. This is, this says information. So this is the information stand. I'll try and put it on straight. There, the information stand, which means we now need something to go in it that's information. Let me have a look at this sheet of books, and this is, a, that one's the, uh, the paper sheet, but no, it's on the stickers here. So we need to fold this sticker over and stick the pieces together. There, and then it slots in there. Perfect. And now you've got information, dental or consultation, or the other side has got ear tests and all sorts of things. So there are lots of things that the doctor can do here. And this one says card, and this one goes on that funny white box, which I've just dropped, the funny white box with the little slot on it. There. And this is where the patients put their cards in once they've filled them out. And let me see if I can find the cards. Here they are. Little teeny tiny cards. There it is, nice and up close. And we fold them over and the patients will write all their information on it and then put it in the box so that they're the next ones that can be seen. Or maybe it's just for the receptionist to keep all of their information on file. And there are three of these little cards. There's two. And there is three. There. Now, the reception desk. How do we know it's a reception desk? Because it's got the words reception desk written on the sticker. And we can put the card box on it. And uh, we might need some little information brochures here as well on healthy eating and a healthy lifestyle. Very important. There's one and here's the other one. They're very colourful, they're going to catch your eye, you're going to be very interested in reading them when you come to the doctor's clinic. What else have we got? We have finished with the stickers for now. Oh no we haven't. Oh yes we have, yes, because we need to put out our patients, our patient information cards here. And these are, there's a pink one and a blue one. These ones go on the clipboard. And that looks cool. So the doctor fills those out with the pencil, which I've lost, it's here somewhere, we'll find it in a minute, can fill those out for the individual patients. Now, speaking of patients, a different type of patients, I need to put all these boxes together. Do you have patients? <laughs> well then stick with me while I bend all these little bendy bits around and try and get all the little slots into the correct little spots. And I really, really wish that the people who make these, the Sylvanian families people, the Calico Critters people, would make these out of cardboard. Why on earth do they make them out of paper? They squash in five seconds flat and they're really, really fiddly and hard to put together. So bear with me, I'm gonna get this together, you'll see. I'm very tenacious, I will stick with it <laughs> until I get there in the end. There, see, I told you I'd get there. So this is for the gauze bandage. Where did that bandage go? Let's open it up. So we're gonna stick our bandage in here. We'll take it away from the Dr. Rabbit and roll it up in, into as little, into as little, little a ball as we can. This is always the tricky part, making it small enough to fit back into the box. It's like, uh, oh no, <laughs> no, it all just slipped apart again. All right, hold on, we're gonna speed up this. I've done it again, and we're gonna shove it in before it has a chance to unravel again. There, one gauze bandage completed, and the box. <laughs> okay, that's one box. Let's do the next one. This one's for cough medicine. And you know, once you've seen one box, you've seen them all, so I am going to hurry this along. And this one's really fiddly to try and get in. Look at that, that's not very neat. And we could try and, oh, look, there's bits hanging out everywhere. Hold on. There we go, that looks much better. And we could try and put the medicine, those tablets or those capsules in there, but I'm not going to because I don't really want to open it again. It would be really hard. Uh, and this one is stomach medicine. Did you see how fast I made that? It was like magic. <laughs> Lucky I can speed it up. And some adhesive plasters, some sticking plasters for all of your little boo-boos and sores. We're going to need them in a doctor's surgery. And 
Uh, oh, these are cute. These are the little bags that the doctor writes on for a prescription and we put the medicine in so that it can be taken home by the patient in its own little bag so we know who it belongs to. And it comes with three of them. There's the pink one, there's a blue one and a green one. And uh, right, now we've got two books to put together to read in the doctor's surgery. These books always stump me as to which way they need to be folded. So I really need to look at the instructions. The instructions are actually on the lid of the box. So you have to look carefully for these ones. This one always tricks me up, but I got there. Here's the doctor in the woods. That will be fascinating to read while we're waiting at the doctor's surgery. And this one is healthy food. Oh, that one looks good too. Look at all those colorful little things in there. Those colorful little foods. I can't eat them, they're too cute. <laughs> right, some of the big stickers that need to go onto the actual, onto the building itself, onto the country clinic. So we can see where we can park for the parents with prams. And there's a, the notice of medical examination, the opening hours and the eye charts and a medical news, all these important stickers that we need here. We need a calendar so that everybody can stay, and, well, stay up to date and come at the right time. And I've put that knot on straight. Very important sign about washing your hands, putting a clock up so the doctor can run on time. And another one I didn't put on straight. More advertising about having health checkups as often as you can. So now we can put all the furniture in, are you ready? So we've got the waiting bench and we have got the reception desk. And we'll put the card box there and the information, information little thingy over there. <laughs> and some of the cards and a pencil to fill them in. And all of our medicines up here on the display behind the reception desk. And our medicines, our, our little liquid ones as well. So the patients can get them on their way out. This must be the, the equivalent of the pharmacy in the country doctor. And here is the doctor's area of the surgery and we'll set all that up with the tablets and the capsules there and we'll put all of his equipment that he needs close at hand on his table nice and tidy we'll try and make it tidy anyway uh, his clipboard for the patient information and we're going to pinch the pencil from the front desk we need two pencils in this clinic they must be on a tight budget <laughs> and over on this side we will put the examination bed and uh, the crutch and then the cast can sit on there. I'm not sure that's the best place for them, but it will do for now. So there we are. I think we just need, we need the stool for the patient to sit on while they're chatting to the doctor and we'll tuck those under the bed because they, they really shouldn't be on the bed. There's nowhere to store them though. We need a cupboard and we need a doctor. Here he comes. He's appeared in the door. So Dr. Rabbit is here. He's ready for business. He's ready to treat all your ailments, but we've got no patience. So I tell you what, in the next video, I will open up a new family to come in and get treated in the country clinic. So don't forget to subscribe and click like, check out some of our other silly videos, and I'll see you again really, really soon.